Hello, welcome to the sixth video on sequences and series in Core 1. This video we're continuing from the fifth video where we talked about using the nth term of an arithmetic sequence or series but with a slightly more complicated example. Just as a way of another uh, piece of revision, do you remember the nth term of an arithmetic sequence or series? Can you write it down? I really hope you can. It is, I certainly can. Un, the nth term, is equal to a plus n subtract 1 multiplied by d. Okay, so hopefully that now is really sticking in your mind and it's just committed to memory. Okay, let's have a go at this more complicated example. Let's work through this together. Given that the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 20, so they are telling us that the third term of an arithmetic series, so is 20, the third term, not the sum to the third term, just the third term is 20, and the seventh term is 12, we are asked to find the first term and the 20th term. Now, when I get a question like this, I think to myself the following. Do I know A? Well, I certainly don't know what A is, i.e. the first term, because it's part A is asking me what the first term is. So I write down that A, I don't know what it is. Do I know the common difference? Well, no, I don't. I haven't been told the common difference. D is also a question mark. One thing I could say is that given the third term is 20 and the seventh term later down the line is 12, I could at least write in brackets that I know it's a negative number because the sequence is going down, right? And that's handy skill to have. Just in case you make a mistake, make a boo-boo when you're doing your work and you get D as positive, surely you could realise it shouldn't be just by thinking of that. Okay, well we don't know that, but we know the third term is 20 and we know the seventh term is 12. So this is what we do know. Let's state what we do know. We know that when n is 3, u3, the third term, is equal to 20. We also know, let, and let's actually write out therefore what this means. The third term is 20 and that's going to be equal to, let's state out our, uh, I should have stated my un here again. Un is always a plus n subtract 1 multiplied by d. So in this case, when n is 3, u3, which is 20, must be a, I don't know a, but I do know plus n minus 1, which will be 2d. So that is a fact I can state from that. Also, I could state that when n is 7, n is equal to 7, I know that u7, the seventh term, is 12. So I could state that u7 is 12, must be equal, given by this formula, a plus 60. Okay, that's just substituting n is equal to 7, uh, 3 into this formula and making it equal to 20 because that's the third term. And then substituting n is 7 into this formula and making it equal to 12 because the seventh term is 12. Now, I have an unknown I want to find a and I have an unknown I want to find d and I've got two equations so I can label them equation 1 and equation 2 and I could solve them simultaneously. Now because I have 1a here and 1a here, I could just do equation 1, subtract equation 2, right? And it would eliminate the a and just leave me with an equation with d that I could solve. Okay, so let's have a go, just carefully. Equation 1, 20 take away 12 is 8. And that must equal a take away a is nothing. Now be careful, 2d subtract 60 is negative 4d. So d, I divide both sides by negative 4, d is therefore equal to negative 2. Right, well part a did not ask me for that, it asked me to work out a. Well I can sub this back in, so sub d equals negative 2 into either equation 1 or 2, let's just put it in 1, and I would get 20 equals a, which I don't know, plus 2 multiplied by negative 2, so that's 20 equals a subtract 4. And if I add 4 to both sides, a must be 24. And I'm done. Now then it asks me to find the 20th term. Well, look at this. I now have, from my previous working, what d is. I have what a is. And I could write my nth term formula with the a put in and the d put in now. So the first thing I'm going to do on part b 
Uh, let me just write part B beside it here. I don't want to go into another page. The first thing I'm going to do for part B and you, is I'm going to state, well, I know that un is always a plus n subtract 1 multiplied by d, but I know a and d, so un must be equal to 24, which is a, plus uh, n subtract 1 multiplied by negative 2, which I could just write as un is 24 take away 2 n minus 1. I'm bringing the negative 2 in front there. So that's the nth term. We want to let n equal 20 in order to work out u20. They're asking for the 20th term, which is u20. So let's substitute n is 20 in here. 24 take away 2 multiplied by n take away 1, which would be 19. So u20 would equal 24 take away 38. Okay, and 24 take away 38, u20 would be equal to negative 14. Underline my answer, I have found the 20th term and I'm done. So that's it for this video. Other than just to point out, this is an extremely popular exam question, extremely popular. So make sure you have full mastery of um, this style of question here because it comes up a lot. And if you've got this covered and you're good with your basic simultaneous equations and watch out for negative numbers because they come up a lot, you will be absolutely fine and nail this question. Thanks loads for watching. That's it for the using the nth term formula. The next video is going to be working out the sum to n terms, the SN formula, and working out and how to use that. Thanks for watching.